Hey there, everybody. It's your boy, Charlie T. I'm back again with another video. It's been so, so long, I know. I haven't realized already, I've kind of been off of, uh, offline for a while just for myself, putting myself first and my mental health. The subject at hand right now that I know you're all here for is when it comes to Murad Morali. Um, Murad Morali, if you don't know, is somebody who is um, a heavy socialite. Um, he's on social media in terms to Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, but primarily his start was on YouTube and he reviewed Love Island. It's a reality love-based show, um, show about finding love. It started out in the UK. And mind you, he's from the UK. So, well, originally, he, he lives in the UK, at least. Marad Marley has been around in the last several years, at least since around 2016, 2017. I have began um, watching his channel around 2018 time, by one of my best friends. She introduced me to his channel because she got me into Love Island. But the issue at hand is what he was exposed for recently. Murad Morali was accused um, and exposed because it's still at this point kind of alleged, right? Um, he confessed to a lot of things and then uh, stated that some others weren't him. So I'm I'm gonna get to that later, but I'm choosing my words wisely when it comes to that. Um, and I'll, I'll state why. There was videos that came out the other day. Uh, he had a OnlyFans basically, or essentially like a OnlyFans-like account or a Tumblr account, old, that wasn't under his original username and the issue at hand is not that these videos contain like foot fetishing and like slave-like um fetishing because that's part of the bdsm life right bdsm if you don't know much about it just educate yourself that's not what this is about for me right now um the point though is that a lot of people have an issue with the racial slurs he used in the video and also for the captions um the racial slurs were the c word um when it comes to um the asian n word when it comes to black culture that's mainly the issue and this is because Murad morali has been somebody to praise you know the poc and the fact that this now is coming out which originally by the way came out around 2019 but it was silence kind of quickly so a lot of people didn't really get a chance to dive too deep into it but since it's resurfaced now and more has been shown based on that um let's we're we're getting into it My my concern about this is not the fact, again, that it was fetishing of any sort in the BDSM realm. It's the it's the slurs, right? Now, Murad Morali made sure to clarify this a little bit and his recent video and he posted it he stated that when it comes to the videos some of the videos are him and some of the videos are not he never specified which are and which are not he did however state that none of the captions were his and even though the captions may not have been his, the problem is for me that the videos were stating the slurs as well. And he never clarified 
which videos that were his so that we know, okay, was it you that said the slurs or not? Me personally, it did sound like it was him saying the slurs in the video, regardless of the captions, the captions pay no mind because I already knew that. That's something that could be easily edited. Whether it was or not, he's telling his truth. He's saying it's not, so that's that. It sounded like him in the video though, when it when the slurs were stated. Now, I'm not one to judge people, especially off of a whim. I like to listen to a person's explanation. They feel like they want to explain themselves. I'm willing to hear them out because everyone has a past. Nobody is perfect at all by any means. And if you really have a heart, you would come out from yourself and try to understand the other person to see where they're coming from. If it doesn't make sense, it don't make sense. But at least you heard, you can say you heard them out. Murad Morali has been somebody, and he said in his video, that has gone through the R word and has been abused in other kind of ways as well. That is deep trauma. Deep, deep, deep trauma that can motivate you to do a lot of things and anything just to get out of the situation that you're in. And for that, I can truly understand the fact that he went out of his way to get a degree to try to change himself in a way. Um, it's also understandable. When it comes to mental health, it's very serious. It's very, very serious. It's not, it's not to make it an excuse at all for his actions or even for what he had said. However, you have to understand that when it comes to mental health, things like this can happen. That a lot of things happen. A lot of random things that are out of our natural control. Something like this even if it wasn't pertaining to mental health specifically in terms to what he had done in the videos and what he had said, specifically really what he said, because again, the actions really didn't matter. It was what he had said. I must keep on saying allegedly on that actually because of the fact that he never stated verbatim if he did say it in the videos. He only stated about the captions. The issue is that this was several, several, several years ago. If the man is apologizing and coming out for at least what he had said or did and who he offended at least, you at least accept it or you don't and leave it alone. When it comes to cancel culture, People really go out of their way for no reason to cancel somebody in a heartbeat. And a lot of times it is for a good reason. And if it is, you just unfollow, stop, stop following that person, stop looking for, you know, anything that they post to just troll them. Leave them alone. If you don't want to really... If you don't care about what they have to say, what they have to uh, do in life, you're saying they're canceled, then stop following them. Stop searching them up. Stop asking people about what this person is doing now. Why does it matter if you don't care about them anymore? They're supposed to be canceled. What is it doing for you at the end of the day to tear somebody down even more when at when at this point they're going to, they're at their low point. What is it doing for you? Are you getting a little giggle out of this? Are you really happy that you got that off your chest? Because granted, let it be you. You have a true deep past, regardless of what it is. Because again, nobody's perfect. Everybody did something wrong in life. 
let somebody call you out, expose you on that, post that to the whole internet, and then let everybody come at you right after that, continuously, to tear you down, say you're canceled, and then more. Just go for the gall. And then afterwards, you apologize and people still are tearing you down. People are still gunning for you, telling you what you should do to yourself at this point when you're already at that low point. You got to think about it like this. What would it be like if you were in their shoes? How would you want to be treated in that case? Cancel culture is whack. And not everybody is strong not to give a damn. Not everyone is careless enough to be like, you know what? It is what it is. It's chill. Like, I said what I said. I admit it. it like, that's that. Not everyone is like that. Anxiety is real. Depression is real. Comes to his video that he did to apologize and at least admit some of the things that he had done that were exposed. A lot of people were saying, oh, he, was, he wasn't he was crying. Like I heard people, I saw people saying in the comments like, oh, okay, um, he's, he's bubbling up saying all of these things, but I don't see any tears. Where are the tears? Why is it so edited? It's edited this much only for the pure fact like there's a lot of emotions. When anxiety is coming into play, you got to pause. You got to try to get yourself through this. Otherwise, we wouldn't probably still have this video that he released earlier today. We probably wouldn't have. Not at all. All that I ask is that you guys, everyone, and this is not only for Mirai, this is for anybody. You don't know what that person is feeling or thinking in the moment. And they could take their own life. Murad has admittedly stated several times that he tried to take his life before. And this could most definitely be one of the additional reasons besides of his admitted abuse through life. I'm not saying that people have to be so sensitive with their words, but at the same time, you don't have to be so brutal. You do not have to attack anybody that is defenseless. And that's all I have to say about that. I hope you guys really take something well from this video. I really, really do. Again, I'm not saying his actions were correct and good, but I'm also not saying obvious there weren't a reason there wasn't a reason for his actions. Because there there was. He He's entitled to do what he does. Just like everybody else. And if you feel like he didn't take accountability enough for his actions, then okay, that's that. That's fair game. But leave the man alone. Freedom of speech is everything, but there's a limit. Like, if you don't want it done to you, don't do it to somebody else. Don't do it to somebody else. And that's a wrap for this video.